Hi everyone, welcome back. I wanted to show you um, something I think is very interesting today. So I picked up my, my 2021 um, Hobonichi Weeks at the end of 2019 and I bought this Eric cover for it. Um, and this was by Sean Tanner, an Australian artist. And I thought this little guy was the cutest. So his name is Eric uh, and he's a leaf and um, he's also an exchange student. So that is the story of Eric um, that I found out from the Hobonichi website. And so I went investigating Sean Tan. So at the same time, I bought the Hobonichi papers booklet. So this is just a book of paper. It's not... Um, Tomorrow River paper. It is a very, very polished paper though, very, very smooth. Um, no grid, no lines, just the white paper. And it has the little um, drawing of Eric in the bottom there, of bottom corner there, and he's carrying his goods with him there, his worldly possessions. So I, as I said, I went on a mission to find out more about Eric and about Sean Tan. So I found the book, um, Eric by Sean Tan. Some years ago, we had a foreign exchange student come to stay, but he didn't want to use our guest room. He preferred to sleep in our pantry. And he's referring there to Eric. So let me just show you a little quick walkthrough of this gorgeous little book. So we have these beautiful illustrations here, this kind of vintage style. And um, then we have this little envelope. This is Eric by Sean Tan. And some years ago, we had a foreign exchange student come to live with us. We found it very difficult to pronounce his name correctly, but he didn't mind. He told us just to call him Eric. So that's the image there that's in the bottom of the booklet of the Hobonichi papers. You can see this is like his like, luggage. And um, I, I guess I don't want to give you the whole story because I think that's something you can read for yourself. This is one that's on the cover as well. You can see him here. It's just a beautiful little book. And again, that caused me to uh, look further. So I also found this journal um, by Sean Tan. And here is his website, seantan.net, which is also a good place to have a look around. This is copyright from 2010. Um, Look at this beautiful, beautiful image here of this bird wearing like a steampunk kind of helmet. Um, and this illustration is on like a sticky, I guess, gloss paper. Um, sorry, matte paper. And then the edging here is in a, like a linen fabric uh, where it's wrapped around. And this is beautifully illustrated again on the inside. All of these really cool characters, just so awesome. Um, just so cute. This little dog is here. Here is saying "Je ne sais pas." Um, this one is saying "See with Bingo," and you could just spend ages looking through all of these beautiful illustrations, finding little nuances. Anyway, this is um again just white paper, so it is a place to write, um, to journal, to draw. It does have a yellow ribbon. Um, bookmark um, yeah so just a journal that you could do whatever you wish in um, and I thought it was gorgeous I'm not sure I can bring myself to use it because it is so beautiful and I'm not very good at drawing I mean I'm not at all good at drawing um, perhaps I could watercolor in it I'm not good at that either but it could be a place to do that practicing perhaps I'm not sure but anyway I really love that I managed to pick this up then we have an actual book by Sean Tan called The Singing Bones. And again, I love the illustration on the front. Let me just um, take this other one out of the way for a second. If we look at the back, I love this image as well. It's just beautiful. These little figures of clay with their simplified features, their single attributes are perfect realizations of the strangeness of the characters they represent, says Philip Pullman, who wrote the foreword for the book. Acclaimed narrative artist Sean Tan breathes new life into some of the world's most beloved fairy tales, wicked stepsisters, traitorous brothers, cunning foxes and lonely princesses, tales of love, betrayal, adventure and magical transformation, all inspiration for this remarkable gallery of sculptural works. So um, inside we have this 
beautiful textured lining in this lovely um, burgundy red. We have this little guy introducing the singing bones. So inspired by Grimm's fairy tales. And uh, um, what I can understand is that he has um, created all of his little clay figurines to uh, uh, inspired by the uh, Grimm's brothers uh, fairy tales. Um, and I'm just going to flick now and show you the others. Um, I highly encourage you to check this out if you are a fan of um, beautiful art and also, um, you know, reimaginings of fairy tales. I think that's quite quite a cool concept. Okay, last but not least is the book called Tales from Outer Suburbia, Suburbia by Sean Tan as well. And this is the last book of his that I could find. Do you remember the water buffalo at the end of our street or the deep sea diver we found near the underpass? Do you know why dogs bark in the middle of the night? So Sean Tan, creator of The Arrival, The Lost Thing and The Red Tree, reveals the quiet mysteries of everyday life. Homemade pets, dangerous weddings, stranded sea mammals, tiny exchange students, that's Eric, and secret rooms filled with darkness and delight. So one of the ones they mention here is The Arrival, which um, was one of the covers um, for from the Hobonichi lineup in 2021. So we have that same um, design on the inside that we saw before. And um, as I said, Sean is um, from Australia. So we have a little stamp with Eric on it, it's super cute. And then we have all of his beautiful drawings in here. Oh, that's beautiful. Warm regards from our Tuesday afternoon reading group. Oh, that is so cute. They're all having a read. This guy has a tap for a head. I love this guy. He looks beautiful. It says here, this project has been assisted by the Australian government through the Australian Council, its arts funding and advisory body. So it looks like um, this was probably supported by a, um, a government grant. And that's the end. I, um, I haven't read these ones either. So I have read Eric and <laughs> that is a beautiful story. Just a beautiful story. So we have Tales from the Outer Suburbia. We have The Singing Bones, which I think is just stunning. We have Eric, of course. And then I have my journal here as well as uh, the Hobonichi papers. And what started it all was the cover, the, the cover on cover. It's like $5 from... Um, Hobonichi, maybe seven or something. I don't know. It's very cheap anyway. And it's just beautiful and seriously just inspired me to look into that more. I think maybe part of it was when I realized he was Australian as well. That was kind of a draw card for me. Um, I guess it shouldn't be, but it was. And it just piqued my interest. And I thought also if he's Australian, then perhaps it'd be easy to find the books here. And oh my goodness, what a plethora of books I opened up. Um, they're not um, they're not inexpensive, let me say, uh, but I think it's totally worth having this little bit of, I don't know, beautiful art and wonderful stories in um, available to me to read. So very excited. It is a quiet Saturday here in Melbourne today. So I think what I'm going to do actually is grab this book and read some of those reimagined fairy tales um, with a cup of coffee on the couch. That sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little kind of different video to usual. We're going through these beautiful things. Um, and let me know actually what you think. I'm keen to hear. Uh, I, I, I think they're fabulous. I, I really, any ideas for what to use this journal for, let me know. I'm just scared to death of writing it, which I think a lot of you understand that concept, um, but uh, probably have to get over that right and start using it. Okay, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you all super, super soon. Bye.